So here's uh, quite a few of the planes that I just ordered out of the box. <clears throat> and on a map, actually, we're in the middle of a game. But uh, it's not going well for the Allies. But um, I've got all these planes to drill and put magnets on. And I'll show you a picture here of a finished one sitting on a carrier. So this is the Val dive bomber sitting on a little uh, carrier from historical board gaming and the Val too. But you can see like most people I glue the magnet to the bottom and then inside the carrier I drill from the bottom and slide the magnet up close to the top so the, so the plane will sit properly there and normally I drill a hole and hide the magnet like on the Spitfire, that one's not that great. The hole wasn't drilled that well. Uh, here's a transport C-46, I think. And uh, it has the magnet, as you can see there. And uh, here's another Spitfire, a little better. If I glob lots of paint on there, it usually hides it. But with the dive bombers, I found that if you don't, uh, if you drill a hole, <clears throat> then the magnet's too far away because of the landing gear. So it's better just to glue it to the bottom. And what I usually do is drill a little pilot hole first. So on this one, because it's pretty flat, I'm going to put the magnet inside versus just sticking it to the bottom. So I drill a little pilot hole. And if you don't have one of these, you might want to go out and get it. The Dremel. These things are awesome. There's a million attachments for them. But uh, that's how I drill the, the holes. I start with the pilot hole. This is a, a 1 32nd bit. And then I move up to like an eighth inch bit. <clears throat> Here's the magnets I typically use. K and J is awesome. I'm going to try the 1 16th, 1 8th on... These, uh, I think they're Avengers. So those will go inside there and probably stick out halfway. So half of this little magnet, this one eighth inch will be inside and half it will be sticking outside. Oh, it's not on that one. Um, probably on one of these. Um, other ones I use a lot of are these size, the 1 16th, 1 16th. <clears throat> those typically go in tanks and everything else. So you can see a Matilda here. Oh, that's, yeah, that has a 1 8 in there. And they stick to the board pretty well. Um, on the bottom of the artillery, I use the, six, the uh, 16th by 16th. And they get scratched off eventually, but I don't really care. And, you know, my board is metal. It goes inside the, art the infantry too. You can see there. And then I can stick the uh, flags on there, the magnetic flags. So, so anyway, that's a little bit of how, how I uh, organize that. And as General Hand Grenade has said, you got to get the polarity right. Otherwise, things won't stick properly and they'll re repulse each other. So uh, I'll get to work here and I'll show you a little bit more later. So here I'm just trying to align the hole with the pilot hole. Try to get it in the center. It does slide around, but use a small bit. It works pretty well. Sometimes just use the bit to clean up the... So that's the first hole, the pilot hole. So I switch bits to the 1 16th. And now I'll go back and make that hole a little bigger. I've been known to drill through the entire airplane, but I can usually hide it with paint. So, I don't know if you can see it that well, but there's the, the hole ready for the magnet. Okay, so I've got my 1 8 by 16th magnet, and uh, I had to make the hole a little bit bigger. And I know the polarity is correct, I like to use an X-Acto knife, and then I just... Uh, on this one, I'll put it in until it is pretty much flush with the landing gear. I'll 
push it in a little bit more. So that should work. I'll glue it in later. But that should work pretty well right there. So I will show you quickly how I glue it. So uh, if I'm doing, doing a lot, I will mark the magnet so I know which side um, to go in because I have put them in backwards and then I've had to drill them out later. I usually use this uh, gel type super glue. So I just dab a little bit of glue. It's a little bit too much. And then I'll put it in. Let's see here. And I have a few moments if it's too far in. I can still get it out, but I have to be pretty careful here. Like it's pretty much in now. I can't pull it out. <clears throat> and then I'll wait a few moments. I'll test it on the carrier and see if that's a good distance. Here's my USS Hornet. <clears throat> I got the idea of, I was painting the decks, but then I got the idea from Sire Blood to make my own uh, stickers. I should just paint it on paper, and then I use some watered down Elmers and stick it on, and that seems to work pretty well. I know some people like to paint them, but I find it's pretty creative too, just to, to work on Vizio. I use Vizio and create the deck. <clears throat> so that's the... I guess are somewhat historically accurate. I look at uh, images online of the decks and follow somewhat. Obviously, I don't print the flag on there or the name, but I think it's pretty interesting to do that. And you can see here that I drilled the holes through the bottom. Um, actually, on this one, these are holes. These are magnets to keep it to the board. You know, so it sticks to the board. And then under these. Uh, Elevators is where I put the magnets. I learned uh, that it's better to do it from underneath now instead of drilling through the top. But anyway, here's the dive bomber and it sticks pretty well. And I think that magnet distance will work well. <clears throat>